Beats, Pods, and Life Network. You are now listening to Belligerent State of Mind. is belligerent. Hey, yo, what is good? You are tuning into Belligerent State of Mind, brought to you by the BPL. That's the Beats, Pods, and Life Network. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Dame, a.k.a. D-A-M-E. Got my man Lou Hall in the building. What's up, brother? Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Lou Hall, a.k.a. Big Lou, a.k.a. The Styling, Profiling, Limousine Riding, Jet Flying, Kiss Stealing, Woo! Willing and Dealing, Son of a Gun. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, yo. <laughs> yo, also joining the crew, man, got my man Prez. What's going on, homie? Hey, chilling, chilling, man. What's going on, yo? Prez is in the house. Chilling. All right, last but not least, man, my boy, this crazy ass dude, my man Recess. What's good, y'all? Just chilling, having fun, living life, enjoying it all, soaking it all in, and being good, son, being good, because God is love. Beautiful. And love ah, is God. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, I feel the spirit of the same in my house earlier. Word. I had the tunes bumping. I'm, okay. It's a vibe right now. It's a vibe. I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry. Yes, the sir. spirit of who? The spirit of who? The spirit of the same. Please, D, take it away. <laughs> no explain doubt, to the man. man. <laughs> we, we, we gotta whisper into him later and shit, man. Well, yeah, we get to that. <laughs> but you know what? I want to get into though, real quick. The uh, hell of the same. Yeah, uh, no, I want to get into your boy Press. How he just got on the intro. He pulled the Ted Bundy. He had the hand up, and he was oh, like, "Oh, he was definitely chilling on the couch and shit." I man. was like, <laughs> "I told you he'd be chilling and shit." <laughs> But you know, the right hand, guess where the left hand is at? Oh, oh man, oh. we ain't going there. Anyway, <laughs> yo, oh, big shout out to the chat room, man. We got the chat room popping, man. Big shout out to my boy, Big Brian, day one. Trap Cobain, what's going on, yes, homie? Yes, sir. Um, what, up, ah. what up, big? Yeah, man, shout out to Linda, always coming through, man. What's going on, Linda? What up, what up? Hey. What's Everybody going, else man? I see is logging on right now. Yes, big indeed. up to everyone that yes, joined us last week episode. Mm -hmm. uh, big up to Sade, Emilio, we had NGs, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Akia, yes. numerous. It, it, numerous, man. Everybody, y'all can join us every single support. week, man. Where we going live every Tuesday at um, 9.30 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. You can, you can check the link. It's in uh, it's on the Instagram, Beats Pod, at Beats, Beats Pods of Life on Instagram. You can check the link out there and be sure to join us. Hit us up, man. So my brothers, man, what is the deal, y'all? What's going on, man? Chilling, chilling, man. Can't complain. Freezing my nuts off out here hey. in New York. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I know you're freezing yeah, up there, why. right? I don't know why y'all do that to yourselves. I know. Man. I seen the pictures, man. What's yeah. up with that snow, man? How'd y'all get hit? It got hit pretty good, bro. It's like 16 to 30 inches. Are you depending, serious? Depending wow. on where you at. Depending on where you at in New York, you yeah. got hit with like 16 to 30 inches, yo. Shit is, shit, shit is no joke, man. I'm, I'm, That's crazy. Last two days, I've been shoveling and shit, trying to shovel my car out the fucking, out the snow. Um, You know, shovel the sidewalk, shovel the stairs and all that. Damn. I guarantee you, man, I, I, I am not, when it's all said and done, it's mm -hmm. time for me to retire. I am not <laughs> staying in the <laughs> We we've been trying to tell you for years, man. Come on, come on down to the Carolinas, to Florida. You know, we all we all connected. Yo, mm -hmm. please, yo, make a room for me, man. Make, yeah. make space, yo. I'm coming. I'm covered. We'll, you will never deny shit. entrance, press in the first place. Come on, man. Nah, man. I mean, you know, I don't want to impose and shit. When I, come. <laughs> yo, when I come down there, you know, I want to make sure that you know. To your guys. lifetime trace tri-state New York area people, yo, New York is like gravity. Mm. And y'all can't get away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta make that move, man. Listen, man. I've been down here when I came down there. The wife came down in 2015. I came down in uh, no 2014. I came down in 2015, yeah. I think. 
I mean, North Carolina. I mean, I'm in um, Raleigh right now and shit. Like, best move I ever made, man. No Without looking back, right? No Hell no. Back. I don't even like to go to New York to visit and shit, man. I barely, I, man. I, I, I go back there. I'm there for like a day and I'm ready to go back home. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 it's just not, I don't know, man. I just, I'm just not feeling it, man. It's just too crowded and shit and people nasty. Or I'm, I'm just not used to that shit anymore, man. Yeah, mm. But you know, it's the exact opposite for me because, you know, y'all live there. Mm, right, right. I just visited. Yeah. And, um, so like I be getting hype every time I get ready to go to New York. Like yeah. I get mad hype. I'm ready to, you know what I'm saying, go down to, you know, downtown area to uh to to the to the uh Times Square, right, and, right. you know, go get the the dollar pizzas and you know, go to the uh go to the corner bodegas and get me, you know, a uh a meat patty. You know what I'm saying? Just, Such a just... tourist and shit, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, don't, we, don't, we don't call it a meat patty, first of all. Right? I mean, beef fatty, excuse me. Beef fatty. Beef fatty. No, beef beef fatty. fatty. All right. But what, but, I, what I won't do anymore is go to Golden Crust. Okay. That's out. Because that's that's a chain. They got it in Atlanta. You learn And it don't even taste. It. Uh, it's all right. You know, when, when you ain't got nothing else and yeah. you want to move, you know, <laughs> moving and shaking, you got to grab something quick. If it's oh, right the there, it's right there. Oh, the cross is all right, man. Yo, as um, also in the chat, we got Jermaine in the chat. She was saying, Lou Hall, she was saying that it depends on which one you go to. She was saying some of them are all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. oh, yeah. But Lou Hall, listen, man. I was trying to get you to come to New York years ago when you was in high school. Uh, I was trying to get you to move yeah. up to New York and shit. Go to school in New York. You was like, yo, I'm, like, I'm going to school. I was like, all right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. <laughs> yo, and you know what's so funny? I was, I got so excited. I was like, yo, I'm going to go to Queensboro Community College. We're going <laughs> to get on this music. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm gonna do this, uh, uh, this, this, this major in, um, uh, was a music business and we're going to get it popping. This is production. I'm ready. And then, and I end up staying here in South Carolina yeah. and going to Charleston Southern University. Wah, so wah. I told you, you could have come stay with Nana and shit. I was like, yo, you good. You come stay with Nana. It's perfect and shit, man. We'd be in, in, in New York with us and shit. We probably we probably would have been both working at um Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was going by then. I was going by then. I got I got fired way before then and shit, man. So. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> What's up with you, Big Reset? What's going on, man? Yo, um, I've been chilling, you know, enjoying the cold weather that came through. Um, <laughs> we be having it down here in Central Florida. What's cold, cold weather? What's cold? What's cold? What's the cold you? weather? What's cold weather for you? You know, fifty-four. <laughs> Disrespectful. <bro. laughs> you can wear shorts and shit. You can in wear shorts. Man. Man. <laughs> you can wear shorts. Fifty-degree weather. You talking about cold? I tell everybody when it comes to the weather down here, it's so humid. The same effects that happen in the summer with the humidity is the same that makes it colder in the winter when the mm. cold air comes through. You know, and we're like an island. We're surrounded on three sides by water. So, you know, I mean, maybe I lost my New York toughness when it comes to the blizzard. <laughs> Me and Mosh were just talking about that a couple of weeks ago, how we used to troop it out there. Mm. Needless to say, I hollered at him yesterday, letting him know, yo, you got 18 inches coming. <laughs> <laughs> When y'all taking that flight, kid, you see, y'all taking that round trip coming to Disney, I would take the one way. One way, right. Other than that, D, I've just been chilling, yo, doing my up. thing, being in the office, you know, and studying how these people are, mm. you know, um, and always remember that, uh, you know, they don't like you. They're not your friends. Mm. You, you don't need shit. them. You don't need them. They ain't your you friends, man. Them. They ain't your friends. I mean, your nah. friends are your friends. You know who your people are. You know, exactly. your people you know who your people are. are. It's that simple. You Never know how they question. act. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if they're not your friends, what are they? They just not your friends. This is what it is. But yo, exactly. love to everybody. Love is beautiful, though. <laughs> love is the strongest emotion. That's what you I got to say. Yes, it is. That's how yes, my it week's been since last week. It was killer last week, I'll show. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Other than that, man, what's up with you, LJ? Anything, anything new, man? Anything new to speak of? Oh, you, you good? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, had a, you know, some, <laughs> some small, you know, some small, you know, a major life event. <laughs> had to, you know, what I'm saying, jump back out here in this single life. You okay. Know? What? Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Say yeah. word. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Appreciate that. Appreciate. By that. way, by way, by what way of official 
um, uh, the uh, statue that this happened of you being a single mom? Oh, oh, you know, I had to, you know, get that, uh, get that D word, get that uh, divorce ironed out, you know. But it's all good. Ooh, you know yes, it's all good because that's the reason to party. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what? I'm gonna be honest. And, you know, shout out to my ex-wife. You know, what I'm saying she a good person. Um, no you know, what I'm saying? shout no, out to your ex. No, no animosity and nothing like that. You know, what I'm saying that's we still up. cool. You know, shout out to her. You know, what I'm saying we you had know, an excellent time good. in Colombia for the wedding. We definitely did. It was a good yeah, time. Absolutely. The family got together and shit. We had a good time, man. Family had a good time and everything. And mm-hmm. you know, absolutely didn't work out between y'all, but y'all both, you know, both grown up and shit. They said they said no drama and. Oh yeah, no. Just nah. move on, man. This is yeah. where you could have just muted Prez's mic because he wouldn't have had no comment oh. about being. Oh. Like, oh, man. <laughs> why, why, why are you involving me? And all we this, ain't bro? even going there, man. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Prez, I still hurt right now. I, I still feel away about that shit, man. <laughs> we ain't even going there. <laughs> Yo, what you mean? Let's talk about we it. We ain't going no. We ain't going no. You missed the ceremony, but the whole reception, the ceremony was 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 very timely. So all the whole reception, me and D looking at the door. Oh, my <laughs> looking at us, looking at the door. We're not looking at them. We're looking at the door. Is Prince coming through? <laughs> and he never came. Uh, yeah, listen, I, I would have been there if I could, man. I, I don't want you to be there if I could. I know, I know. But I'll tell you what, for the next one, because there will the be next a next one, one something oh. sometime down the line. You know what, what? I'm saying? Oh, okay. I still I still oh, believe oh, in ready, love. Ready shit. Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm getting myself ready. I still I believe in love. Out of business. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why he's doing this reset. Why he's swiping and shit, man. Uh... <laughs> 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 I still believe it's love. I still believe it's, you know, somebody still out there for me. So, you know, um, you know, they, I, I'll find that at some point, you know. Maybe it's your ex-wife. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Shout to Man. her, you know what I'm saying? But I think we, we, we're we better as friends, you know what I'm that's saying? That's happened before. That's happened yeah. before. Nonetheless, an excellent time to throw a party if it wasn't in a pandemic. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yo, speaking of the past week, man, Big Press, man, what's, what's good with you, man? Anything that popped uh-huh. this past week, man? What's Anything good? new happened with Anything you, Anything new? Anything new? Uh, let me see. Um, <laughs> nope, nope. Same old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing new, you know what I mean? It's working, trying to be great, you know what I'm saying? Just doing what I got to do, man. Word? Yeah. That's it? That's it? What else you want? I have no shame, Prez. This guy is terrible, man. <laughs> and you from you from the same club, man, <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. Got the terrible Brooklyn man. in the house. Do your oh, shameless man. thing. He says shameless plug. What happened, Prez? Tell What's him, good? Him well, him. since you ask, you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I go ahead and just go ahead and say that I launched my own first and only podcast. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I ended up, you know taking the the motivation from you guys and you know just end up spending you know the time just perfecting the craft okay. working Thank with you. you guys and I said you know what let's take this show on the road so I started off my own my own podcast called on the air with prez mm-hmm. um dropped it on February 1st uh with my boy Nagus at Ayami um Shout out to him. Shout yes. out to him. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. And it was um, it was just basically centered around Black History Month. You know what I mean? You know, February is 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 our uh, our month of recognition of all the accomplishments that uh, Black folks have contributed over the the years, the hundreds of years. Um, so I took the opportunity to launch it on February first in honor of that. Um, we also talked about Dr. Martin Luther King a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Pay respects to him. Uh, yeah, it, it was dope, man. It was dope. I finally, um, you know, got up off my ass and, and got it done. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've been getting some good, um, some good positive feedback. Dope. Now you're going to be humble. And <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I mean, you know, just, you know, steady, steady. You know, I'm trying to just stay focused, steady on the course. And, you know what I'm saying? Just see what, you know, we can do with it. 
That's what's up. Absolutely. That's what's up. I'm yeah, saying the first episode was definitely dope, man. Just you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, just keep at it, man. You're gonna get more and more comfortable with, you know. It's definitely uh because I, I tried that shit before. It's, 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 it's a difficult task switching from being, you know, four voices and being by yourself. It's definitely Facts. it's 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 different. It's different. Yes, it shit. Is. You don't you can't just take a pause and just <sighs> you gotta keep going and shit. Gotta so. keep going. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man. But I'll be reaching out to you, you know what I mean? To three of you just to, you know, um maybe have you guys on a I won't be on that shit, man. Fuck out of here. I don't be on that shit. <laughs> 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 Fuck out of here, man. You paying me? Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> man, listen, yo. <laughs> When the time comes, man, we're going to talk. I have no my doubt. people call your people. No doubt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Shout out to you, Prez. The artwork is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the audio was amazing. Uh, Nagus, your first guest, is captivating of, from off his name because you know an African... Nagus is king. Yeah. So yeah, I was, yeah. you know, I knew that. So I was like, oh, wow, his name and uh, very interesting conversation. Uh, dropping gems, knowledge, yeah. and make a G not have to go to the library type <laughs> shit. <laughs> yes, I loved yo. it. Excellent conversation, Prez. I appreciate it. That's the goal, man. I'm trying to like, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. Just, just, just drop knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. Just there's so many things that like, I know for me personally, I didn't grow, I didn't grow up learning. I didn't really find out about like so many things mm. until like my, my 20s, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Thir early 30s, you know, and I'm still, I'm still growing. I'm still of course, learning. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Knowledge never stops. Absolutely. Knowledge never stops, man. You're always learning something. You always should learn something every day. And um, yeah, man. So respect, man. Prop, props, yo. Appreciate props that. Props to you, brother. That's props on, you. on the air you. with Prez, right? On the air with Prez? On the air with Prez. It's mm -hmm. right now. It's on Spotify as we speak. It's mm. on It's on iTunes as we speak. Okay. Um, you can definitely check it out there. And then it should be on all streaming platforms, hopefully by the end of the week. Dope, okay. Dope, dope. It was such an intriguing conversation, not to even give spoilers, but there's a lot of interesting topics that were touched on. The Caribbean influence in hip hop. Yeah. They went to uh, the stars in astrology yes. where they talked about Geminis being the best communicators. Yeah. How about the yeah. piece when you talk about the dark ages? Oh my gosh, mm. yo, it, I cannot spoil this conversation. There's so much gems being dropped. So many, like yeah, it was yeah. very, thought provoking you know what i'm saying and these are the type of conversations that we should be having mm. you know on a regular basis you know um uh what's the what's the phrase uh each reach one each one teach each one, one, teach mm -hmm. one each one teach one that's what it should be yeah. you know um and y'all started it off honestly you know so i'm hoping that when people hear you know your um broadcast um, that they'll be able to, you know, take that knowledge and give that to somebody else. And that way it can get pushed into the communities mm -hmm. and that way we can start actually coming together because, you know, we as a people are not together, mm -hmm. you know? So in order for us to do that, we have to take that knowledge that we're learning from all other sources and then bring that to everyone else in the, that that's in the community. Fact, yo. Well said, well said, brother. Yes, indeed. Well said, man. And so I'm already working on the next episode. You know, it's definitely going to be a, a banger. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, you know, where we're where we going to take it with the next one. So definitely stay tuned. Check me out. Um, and let's let's rock. Yo. Yes, like sir. Sounds like a plan. You want to give another big shout out to the to the chat room. We had a couple more people that joined. Um, BJ and a jumped in a little earlier. Um, big shout out to Brian still in the building. Keyshawn and Linda still in the building, man. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Like I said, um, like I said, uh, belligerent state of mind, man. We ready to get this show started. Ready to get it popping, man. <sighs> My man Prez, man. <laughs> Listen, man. I made a. I don't know if I made a joke too. I don't know if I said it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said it on the air or off the air, but I was like, damn, we're going to have to do these in memorial things like every episode, man. It's like somebody passing away. A couple of days later, man. Lord oh, have mercy. Somebody man. passing away. Lord have mercy, man. We had a legend, man. You, 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 you can take it away, brother, man. What's, what's going on, man? I think you set me up with this one, man. man. 
like you 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 got me like being the bearer of bad news yeah, kind of sort of man i'm not I'm not feeling that bro <laughs> 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 i'm not feeling that but um yeah so like you said you know we had an unfortunate passing <clears throat> of last week um the great cicely tyson mm. you know um so many um words to describe her you know legendary actress um uh trailblazer um you know icon um you name it man she passed away uh last week thursday at the age of 96 yes um she just just released a book called just as i am which hit which hit the bookstores earlier uh this year january 26th just a couple weeks ago um yeah man she 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 was influential in you know film tv broadway um you know what i mean she was definitely somebody she was a force to be reckoned with though she um she spanned seven decades bro seven decades you know what i mean which is like amazing to me um you know obviously you know, she would have came up during times where it would have been hard for her to, you know, to 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 to, to break that that ceiling, you know, mm-hmm. to become an actress. Um, but she persevered and she she did what she had to do. You know what I mean? Um, born in born in Harlem. You know what I mean? Born in New York, um, and was also a model. You know what I mean? She was also a model, um, beautiful uh, black queen. You know, um, did her thing. Um, one of the one of the most, uh, I guess, um, well known movies that she was in was uh, one of the most called Sounder. Mm, um, yeah. old, old black and white movie. Um, and then oh, oh she, she was in uh, Miss Jane Pittman. Yeah. Um, and uh, and she was a uh, Academy Award nominee. You know, I don't think she won. I, I'm, you know, forgive me, but I don't think she won. Um, she was a, co- a, a Academy Award nominee for uh, for Sounder, and she won. Uh, I know she won Emmy Awards for uh, Miss Jane Pittman. Um, she was also in Roots. Yo, shout out mm-hmm. to Linda. She definitely did her thing. She was in Roots. You know, a lot of her movies are actually streaming now. I saw that a lot of her stuff oh, okay. Okay. is actually mm-hmm. streaming. You know, I guess out of respect for her um, mm-hmm. her work. Um, she also won a Tony Award, you know, because she was a Broadway actress as well, mm-hmm. um, which was dope. And um, yeah, man, a uh, little known fact I found out while I was doing the research was she was uh, married to the late, great Miles Davis. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Married to the late, great Miles Davis, man. They had um very interesting... Um, marriage relationship um it was on again off again miles was a a, a player player from the himalaya <laughs> <laughs> all the old jazz musicians were man you know they all were man <laughs> you, you, you gotta you gotta expect that you know you, you, you figure you figure you know these, these cast is traveling the world you know mm-hmm. and, and 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 he's he's like you know such a great jazz player of course he's gonna have people you know, pulling up. Mm. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, she, you know, worked it out, stood by him at certain times, mm-hmm. got separated from him certain times. Um, you know, he ended up getting sick and she basically held him down, you know, while while he was sick. Um, it was definitely a, uh, a, I guess, a love-hate relationship. You know, I think at the time they were looked at as like the, the, the I guess, the Jay Z and Beyonce of the sixties, seventies. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, they were definitely in the public spotlight, and um, like, like, like royalty. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like royalty at the time. So, yeah, man, she did her thing. Yo. I appreciate. You know all her uh her efforts and everything that she did. Right, she was definitely acting it to the end. Like she was, we, me and my mm-hmm. wife were just watching the one um How to Get Away with Murder. How to Get Away yep. with Murder. Yeah. She and was on there. Mother. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She did a couple Tyler Perry movies. I think okay. um Why Did I Get Married movie? She was in that a few years back. Yeah, with Louis Gossett Jr. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. right. The, the the couple at the end. Yeah. Wow. Man. Mm-hmm. Shout that out was to a crazy Linda. movie, right? Janet Jackson was in it. Yeah. Malik Yoba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Scott. And she yeah. was actually the um one of the main movies she was in was actually one of Tyler Perry's first movies that kid that was a play that turned into the movie, um, which was um Family Reunion, Medea's okay. Family Reunion. Okay. Um, and I don't know if y'all remember, but at the end she was like the um um one of the uh, matriarchs, and you know she was talking you know about how you know the family should be coming together. Like her speech um was like just amazing what she did on 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 that movie, and um. She was also um, beside another great person who, you know, unfortunately, you know, passed, um, uh, Maya Angelou. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, Definitely had a long, illustrious career, man. So. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Like, you could go on. I know the, 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 the big, one of the big movies back in the days, way back. I know Linda mentioned Roots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most people remember after that, well, um, I think it was in the 90s, Fried Green Tomatoes. I think okay, was yep. Oh, and okay. recently, The Help, right? Okay. I mean, That's right. come on. It's man. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Definitely a true legend, 96 years man. old. And every time we see it, I used to love when they used to show her like next to like Queen Elizabeth and shit. <laughs> and they show her old Queen Elizabeth look. <laughs> and I was young, Sissy Tyson look still going mm-hmm. at it, still going strong. Mm-hmm. Linda said she was on the cover of Miles' album, The Sorcerer. Okay. That's what's oh up. come on, man! That's what's up, yeah, man. yeah, she definitely big had a things, yeah. big thing. Big thing. That was yeah. that was uh, that was uh, his wife. That was his wife. Yeah. So at the time, I guess while he was married, he ended up putting her on the cover of the album. I'm mm. sorry, I take that back. At the time, it was just uh, they were just dating, and it okay. wasn't like public knowledge that they were actually a couple. Mm. Um, so mm. when he put her on the album cover, it basically just opened up. You know the fact that they were actually right. yeah, in a relationship, yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, there was a lot of couples like that from back in the day. I didn't even know people was like together, like like Glenn Turman and Aretha Franklin. I had no yeah, I saw idea that. They was married. I had no clue. They yeah. married for like twenty years and shit. I had no Glenn idea. Turner from yo. a different world. Yeah. yeah, different world. Um, Cooley High. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had no clue, man. So that's what's up, man. That's what's I did up. not know that. That's what's yeah. up for real. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's definitely R.I.P. to Cicely Tyson, man. But um, Lou Hall, unfortunately, man, I think we had a, we had another uh, another passing of fucking couple of days after that, man. Couple of days after that, man. Um, this guy died at the age of forty four. Very that's that's young, that's very young. Um, and I'm talking about rest in peace to my man Dustin Diamond. Mm-hmm. Um, if y'all don't know who Dustin Diamond is, Dustin Diamond played the illustrious character of Screech from on Saved by the Bell. He was a creep. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. R.I.P. to him, man. Like, you know, growing up watching Saved by the Bell, you know, most of my friends, most of my homeboys, they wanted to, you know, be, you know, Zach, T- Zach you know, Zach Morris. Morris, Zach. <laughs> Or uh, what's the other name? What's A.C. Other Slater. Or A.C. Slater. 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 <laughs> but you know me, I actually wanted to be Screech. And the reason why I wanted to be Screech was, you know, he had his eyes and his hot set on Lisa Turtle. Lisa Turtle. And he <laughs> never, <laughs> never gave up. He never gave up. Never. The determination, man. Um, so, you know, I always wanted to be him instead of, you know, all the other ones. Um but you know he ended up dying from uh, uh can- from cancer he had stage four lung cancer mm. um he was that di- matter of fact he was diagnosed last well he first talked about the diagnosis last month um in january and then which was toward the end of the month mm. and then several weeks later he ends up passing mm. um I died there at the hospital. Um, they said his health was like mad serious at the time. Um, he did go through his first round of chemotherapy um, after the diagnosis, but you know that that still didn't help. Um, yeah, that that was that was something to actually hear. Um, 
And, you know, for the people who know, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff, um, as far as with him, he wasn't as close anymore with the cast um, because he did publish a book, and it was called Behind the Bell. Um, and when he he basically shared a lot of the backstage, you know, stuff that was going on behind the scenes, and, you know, his co-stars really weren't feeling it. Um, mm. And it was was crazy he 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 had a his his life was at one point was was spiraling down because he ended up um uh, in some legal trouble uh serving uh three months in jail um for getting for stabbing a guy in an altercation at a bar in 2014 mm -hmm. um but then you know it started it started to you know spiral back up because he started going into different shows he was on celebrity fit club he was on celebrity boxing two celebrity championship wrestling um but even at the end through his unfortunate demise his co-stars you know still was you know sharing the love with him um and you know they were all deeply saddened by you know his passing they all had very encouraging words and, and caring words to say about him mm -hmm. um so you know that's even though you know it, it just made me think about like even though you go through what you go through with your people mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they're still going to rock with you, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. And, you know, they it, don't take life for granted. Just don't take life for granted. It's, exactly. um, he's so it young, quick. too, man. He was so young, man. Exactly. That bugged me out. I'm like, he's booking a he year older than me, man. I'm like, Lord, have mercy, man. That shit, it's crazy. Yeah, man. Mm -mm. So definitely, you know, RIP to him, man. I don't know if you watch Say by the Bell Press. You used to watch that show? Yeah, I used to catch a couple episodes here and there. Okay. You know, that was my era. That was my era. That was your era. See, that I was figured, my era. That was your damn era, man. You was like in your 30s and shit when that nah, was on, man. Stop man. playing. Stop playing. Nah, era. Come on, man. Cut it out. <laughs> nah, you Cut it out. Did not see you. I was a teenager Did not see when that you. shit was on. Didn't I see you like on a, the, the Roman chariot with Charlton Heston, you know, back in the day? <laughs> you a funny dude, man. <laughs> That's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? You're a funny guy, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, didn't they talk about you? You know what I'm saying? And uh the Ten Commandments. Nah, son. You was rolling, you was rolling with Moses in them, right? Nah, man. Come on, man. Stop that. You was Stop with that. the people when he said, Let my people go. You was with you, you was with the people. I ain't gonna stand for this disrespect, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> you gave him the idea to part the Red Sea, didn't you? Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, young buck. <laughs> Don't get me started, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I may be wet behind the ears, but I'd rather do that instead of having dirt, whole bunch of you know old school dirt from years on top of years piled up behind the eardrum. What the hell are you talking about, man? What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Nah, nah, because he got a real man and shit. Yeah, <laughs> please, man. He <laughs> can't. I don't like, know what just happened. Yeah. Like, like I, I slept with his ex-wife or something. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. Hilarious, hilarious. It wasn't me. <laughs> slow your roll. Let us say slow your roll, the wall. I will. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. My <laughs> apologies. My apologies. You need another nap or something, man. What is that? <laughs> Actually, I do. <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, but it's all good, man. You killed Brian. Brian said I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to Jamila. She's confused. I'm confused. Everybody <laughs> confused, man. I stepped away for a second, man. I come back. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I'm just, I'm just minding my business. <laughs> But yo, it's all good, oh, man. But yo, that's man, beautiful way, beautiful way to end the samba moments. <laughs> no, we set up. Right, we gotta, we gotta laugh. We gotta laugh. Yeah, I love on, it. Man. I love it. Move on. So yeah. yo, 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 we just Woo. we just realized um a couple of days ago that we coming up on a very important anniversary for one of the most classic classic mm. albums in the history history of I'm gonna say music. I'm gonna say hip hop, but I, I think it's just the music in music. general. Music, music, music in general. Though. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. So, very so. important, very monumental album. Um we this is the 25th anniversary of Tupac All Eyes on Me. Say it again. Say it again. Ooh, Tupac say it again. Shakur, all eyes on all me. All eyes on me. 
Classic, mm-hmm. classic, classic. Yes. Album. Recorded, recorded in two weeks, fourteen two days. Weeks, two weeks. I mean, the quick Double back album. story. I mean, everybody know Tupac went to jail. You know, we did. He did some. He did like eleven months in um Clinton, and um Suge Knight came. They came to Suge Knight and Interscope. Oh, people always think it was just Suge Knight. It was. It was actually Interscope. Actually came. Jerry Iovine. Yes, Jimmy Iovine. He actually had the money, so they bailed Tupac out. Mm-hmm. And um put him right to work. He signed a, a three album deal with Death Row Records, man. He went straight to work, straight to work, man. Like the dude came home October 13th and recorded Ambitions of a Rider and I Ain't Mad At You in the same day. Same day. Same, same day he got out of jail. That is insane, yo. I can't deny it. I'm a fucking rider. You don't want to fuck with me. Insane. I got insane. the police busting at me. me. Can't <laughs> shit to a G. Just crazy, 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 man. The dude had, and then like, like, like Press said, in in the matter of two weeks, twenty seven, well, twenty seven tracks that went to the actual album. He recorded at least another twenty songs that on top of it. that that, that didn't make the make album. Right. Two right. weeks, right. man. But you know what, Linda, you're right. He did have time to write. Well, he did. <laughs> he had he plenty did. of time to write. But now, listen to some of the stories. <laughs> some of the people saying, like, he wrote a lot of that shit, like, right there. A lot of people okay. said he wrote some of that shit right there, like, in the studio. Facts, facts, yo. Yeah. That, yeah. that was his, that was his, um, his MO, yo. Mm-hmm. He would, he would stay, like, he would stay in the studio for hours, yep. days, just writing, mm-hmm. man. Come out with song after song. Yep. And showing them dudes, because I'm pretty sure, you know, you, we always hear the story about Death Row Records during that time when, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of partying and hanging out. And I, I remember, I think Daz was saying, or one of them was saying, and maybe, maybe um, Corrupt, like, when he came, he came with a, like, yo, let's go, let's work. Like, we ain't here to fucking party. We can party and do all that shit afterwards. We here to work. Let's get it done. Mm-hmm. And that might have been some of the riff between um him and, could have been some of the riff between him and Dre, because, you know, we all know Dre likes to take his time with stuff, and, you know, Tupac oh, was about know. it. Like, let's go. Tupac was like, let's go. <laughs> let's get it done, man. <laughs> let's get it popping. Mm. But um, it's interesting fact. I always kind of knew, but um, I just do a little more research on it as far as the, um, the first single from the album was um, California Love, mm-hmm. which is actually, it was Dre's song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was actually a song. <laughs> mm-hmm. and which then some I, of the projection, the, some of the production mm-hmm. did sound like Dre records. Right, right, right. But I'm saying it was, it was for his, his album. It was, it was for his him. Album. Yeah. It was That's his song. His he had three yeah. verses. And right. then yeah. I, I think Suge came and put his hand on his shoulder. Was like, nah, this is Pac's song now. Yo, <laughs> yo, what's up with this hand on the shot? Oh no! Was that in the Pac movie? <laughs> <laughs> was that in Straight Outta Compton? I don't know about all that, man. Uh, I don't, I don't know, know about yeah. all that. But yeah, yeah, Jack and Floyd's song. <laughs> I mean, it definitely worked out. You know, the song with Double Platinum definitely worked out. And it was a good introduction for two. Bar- they did the video a week later. Like these yeah. dudes, like, he wasn't playing, yo. Nah. Like this dude was mm-hmm. not playing, man. <laughs> like you said in the verse, I don't bail fresh out of jail, California dream. Screaming. As soon as I step on playing. the scene, I hear mm-hmm. a whole screaming, mm-hmm. screaming for liquor and a whole time <laughs> side and a strong. Now that wasn't the only song he jacked. Now he jacked a song from the dog pound as well. <laughs> I got my mind made up featuring oh, Red, yep, Man. Red Man. And yep. oh, Red Man and controversy Man. from that. Yep, yep. Oh, Red 20, Man 20, 26 years later. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and yo. one of the strongest band members from mm. the world famous Wu Tang clan. <laughs> famous, of course, for his set off verse on. Their debut single, Protect Your Neck. Mm-hmm. Mm. The opening verse to Triumph. Word. I'm mm-hmm. atomically. Yo, this kid had a whole verse, mm-hmm. a race mm-hmm. from Tupac. Mm-hmm. Tell him, mm-hmm. D. Inspect the deck. Inspect the deck. That's Shit. Inspect the deck. He wasn't the only one. Lady of Rage was on the song also. Oh. oh <laughs> <that's crazy>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they took her off of that shit too, yo. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't I don't know why they would have done that, man. I don't know. It's weird, man. It's weird. Very. Like that could have been an ill posse cut. You know, mm-hmm. I mean it was a posse cut, so you know, obviously it's not going to the it's not going to radio. You might mm-hmm. as well just keep them keep them on it. Keep I don't those see verses the on was. it. Yeah, I don't right. see what the mm-hmm. point was, really. Yeah. You know, and the verse sense. was hot. I don't remember Lady Rage's verse. I don't think it I, ever really came out. I don't think really it ever really came, came out. out. Nah, nah. But I I, I did hear Dex verse 
and okay, the yeah. first was, mm-hmm. was official. Of you know? course. Well, mm-hmm. it's, it's Inspector oh, Deck. Yeah. And that's what? <laughs> that was that? 90, 95? <laughs> Inspector Deck in 95. <laughs> of course, man. That, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So mm. definitely was a weird um, move on their part, mm-hmm. on, on Death Row's part. Um, maybe Tupac's part. I don't know. Yeah. But um, strong, strong song, though, man. Without a doubt. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Like I said, so, just, just classic joint. Go ahead, Recess. Um, you know, we could talk about the album, but uh, it's something that people probably won't understand. Younger generations look at, you know, these uh, younger rappers that passed away that had a short run. I understand the comparisons. Tupac had a short run with us also back in the 90s, but you can't deny it, though. 300 or so, 700 something songs. You know, he had six albums after he passed away. Ridiculous. And the man sold 75 million records. Like, you got to put some things together. Like, you got to understand the reason why people after his passing said the new Pac or this Pac. You got to understand who Pac was. Um, a black revolutionary. Uh, black revolutionary. Mm-hmm. Um, he was so important to the culture. They killed them. Mm. And I don't care who you say killed them. Mm. You know, uh, J. Edgar Hoover in a commission that was formed to find out about the assassinations of Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, they summoned the papers of how he was surveying the whole union, the whole movement. He said, by all costs, do not allow the rise of a black messiah. Mm. That's what Pac was. Mm. And this mm. album killed them. Word. This mm. album killed them. He had everything on the album. It showed he came out of jail, mm-hmm. all right, and was the number one icon. He, you, you, you got you to get rid of that man. Y'all remember that shit. You remember when he came oh, out yeah. of jail, man? You remember, oh, yeah. like, <sighs> everywhere. This is the album, y'all. Everywhere. This is the album. Mm. Facts. From Ambitions to the Rod Up when it's first set off. Come on. Mm-hmm. The track list is crazy. Ridiculous. I was just playing Bootsy Collins, Rather Be With You, with mm-hmm. our, which was one of my favorite love songs of all times. You know? Mm-hmm. I know these busters ain't loving you right. I know you need a thug in your life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> One the, the greatest one of the one of my favorite songs on the album has got to be "Picture Me Rolling," and yes. I was saying that earlier. That's a that, yes, "Picture Me Rolling" in my five hundred bands. We got no love for these niggas. <laughs> they don't need to be friends. <laughs> There's no reason why this man is top five dead or alive on anybody's list. Oh, 100%. absolutely, he was amazing. absolutely. He was he was definitely amazing, man. Now I will say. Um, Recently, since we're talking about pitching me rolling, mm-hmm. there was a young, you know, one of the younger rappers, uh, NLE Chopper. Um, he ended up, you know, doing his remake of pitching me rolling, paying homage to Pac. Okay. And in the video, he was basically dressing like Pac, um, like redoing some of the scenes from like some of Pac's videos from like um, I Get Around. Um, at first, I was like, eh, you know what I'm saying? But then mm. after going back through and watching it and actually watching the video, I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? It's this this, this young boy that actually, you know, paid homage to him. And you don't find, you know, a lot of the younger, you know, uh, generation paying homage to the older you know, and you know, it's just it was just a blessing just to see, okay, you know what? He 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 knows he knows that he knows that he knows hip hop, he knows, right. you know, who put him on the path that he's on right now. Um, but yeah, so if the younger generation, you know, is keying into what this album was, you already know that this album right here, you know, was something, you know, uh bigger than you know, just an album. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was it was something that sparked in my opinion, a revolution of music, you know, mm-hmm. because this album shaped, you know, the turn of the music, if you think about it. God, the track. Yo, you know what? Chill, Lou Hall. You know what the deal is. I think you could do this with the back of your hand and run down this track. List. <laughs> Yo, he started off with Ambitions of the Rider, right? Right. The very second joint, the Nate Dog joint, Every red city we go, I see the same. same. Oh, <laughs> oh, the one we talk about, I got my mind made up when they Come cut on. out Inspector Dex, right? right? Yep. Two of America's most wanted was the very next Classic, track. classic, <laughs> classic. You know, Life Goes On is a couple of songs later. 
Mm-hmm. Life goes on. Come on, yo. Only Josh can. Only God can judge only me. Only God can judge me now. Listen. For most people, already that's four hits. Hell you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell oh, you yeah. right quick that only God can judge me. God. That's what got me through, you know, my times, you know, going through, you know, my situation. Uh, I'll tell you that one right there, that one, only God can judge you, man. Come on. God That's can judge up. you. Well, I'm and then right you. after that, California love. Mm-hmm. Right yes. after California love, I ain't mad at you. What you just mentioned. It's crazy. Tea. You know what I'm saying? And what we think, what we drinking? Thug Passion. Thug Passion. <laughs> <laughs> and then right after Thug Passion, picture me rolling. Mm, mm, mm. My favorite song, I, I, I gotta say, it's probably one that, of my favorite. And then I that even beat say, is off the hook. The beat is crazy. Yes. But, what, but what's the the biggest song on the, on the album? I think. How do you want it? Of course, mm. KC and JoJo. Oh, <laughs> they were scorching at the time. Oh yeah. And I didn't that even was go a down. Hit. Did I even go to this two yet, Luol? Um, no, you, you, did ch- you, ch- you touched on um, this too. Yes, yeah, picture me rolling. Mm. This is unbelievable. This is, for those that don't know, this is why I pot got killed. Mm, I'm gonna mm, be mm. honest with you. Yeah, he, he blew up to proportions that nobody ever dreamed of believing in, and more mm-hmm. than these white people wanted to. I tell you that much. Nah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the name of his album was called "All Eyes on Me." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like, and like, like y'all were saying, man, it was just like he was just all over the place. All eyes on him. He was just blowing up like crazy, man. He was really like. He could have been, like, right now, I really, I truly believe he would have been, like, a very important voice right now with all the stuff going on. I think he would have been out there 100% right now. Facts. Doing all the, yeah, yeah, doing all the, all the protesting and all that shit, man. Mm, mm. Yo, Makes yo, me wonder, man, yes, that, there you that, go. That, 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 you know, did he um, see that type of life for himself, you know? Like, mm. was he just still caught up in that whole... East Coast, West Coast manufactured beef, mm-hmm. right? You know, yes. To where he couldn't really envision how much the people was like checking for him, and it was really, really ready to ride for him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think um, there's been anybody, any rapper, entertainer since him since he passed that has commanded the kind of attention that he did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I just don't think he realized the potential that he had. Mm. Well, you know what? We heard the stories about him. They was trying to start another. Um, they're trying to start that One Nation album with uh, um, with Boot Camp like, Click. Boot Camp Click, there, there and I think Tretch might have been down with it. So Tretch was. Yes, yes. So I kind of think that he kind of knew, and that was supposed to be like post post Death Row. It was like he was already planning on leaving. You know, leaving Death Row and. Could you imagine though, man? Like he would have had the ears of of millions, you know, millions of you of the youth. You know what I'm saying? The youth mm-hmm. that 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 can grow up and you know be more um, conscious of what the hell is going on out yeah. here. Yeah, because we know what he was. Um, we know what he was before he even went into jail. You know, we know he he, he was that revolutionary, just like his moms and shit. You know, his his, his baby Godfathers black panther son. Word, word, exactly. Baby Black yeah, Jamila Panther. says, we wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't ready, no. He shot two cops that were off duty, mm-hmm. beating on a man in plain clothes. He, why? Why? They were beating on a, on a dude. Why? What do you, did, tell, tell us, you tell me why. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just saying. I need to make sure that you explain why. You, saw, saw, you tell me, help me out, Prez. This is real long. He saw a brother, right? Mm-hmm. That looked like he was getting his ass whooped by two by white dudes. Two, two white dudes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And he jumped out the whip to help his brother. Like mm-hmm. that's all it was. As simple as that. So, <laughs> so let me ask you this: in 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 times right now, where you know our uh, black and brown brothers and sisters are getting you know killed by cops right. in actual uniforms, does the uniform matter? Meaning do you think that if we see two white cops beating up on a another, you know, a black brown and sister, uh, you know, a black and brown brothers and sisters, should we intervene? Intervene, right? Because it's like I, I think I go back to um, uh, uh, George Floyd, right, and how it was so many people around, 
and you know everybody was like you know filming is like yo stop 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 yeah. but nobody you know jumped in do you think that um do you think that you know we somebody do you think that in your mind you would have wanted to do something or do you think that you would have wanted to just stand there and you know at least film so that way they can the the public can you know see exactly what's going on you have to you have to be prepared for the consequences Mm -hmm. you know what i mean if you see something like that going on in front of you you got to understand like you know what I can't live with myself watching this shit go down and me not do anything, but understand that the shit might end up bad for me. You right. know what I mean? And then at the end of the day, I, I, me personally, I don't know. It's hard to say, man. It got to be, yeah. you know, in the middle of the, uh, you got to be in the moment. You know what I'm saying? You got to mm-hmm. actually have it's, the shit going down. Definitely tough. tough. Definitely like tough. Jamea was saying, it's a tough, yeah. tough question, man. Tough question. It's, Question, I definitely but... think about that when I whenever I watched the video. It, 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 one person would have just stopped his momentum at least, you know, threw him off kilter. Right. Then, but who to say they want to turn around and shot that person? Exactly. <laughs> but then I also look at too. You look at what you know, the Black Panther Party was the reason why it was made, mm-hmm. and that was to police the police yeah. and you know help the community. Mm-hmm. So it's almost as if like. If well, it's kind of hard to say because if the, if if we still had a group of individuals who police the police, do you think that that would actually that that the killings of black and brown people would be would go down? I mean, I know it would still happen, but do you think it would still go down, or do you think that um, it would just be the exact same where it is? Oh, well, I mean, you can take that type of responsibility in your own hands you know what i mean you don't have to have a whole organization like you as a citizen of this country of this state of south carolina you know what i mean if you see some shit going down and you know that shit is in violation you you i believe you definitely have the right to intervene and be like yo what's good like what's really going on like right. that's kind of excessive you know what i'm saying why you yeah. he's down you know what i mean why you keep hitting him he's down you know what i mean and then intervene and then also maybe you might have to talk to the dude that's getting locked up be like yo just chill stop fighting you know what i mean right. don't yeah. don't make the shit worse you know what i'm saying let, let him let him throw the cuffs on and then you take care of the shit in court right you know what I mean? It's it's just like I said. It's just you gotta be in the moment to really understand the the the, the you know the ramifications of of your actions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta really think the shit through and you know hope hope that everything comes out okay. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Mm-hmm. Pac released a total of eleven platinum albums. Mm-hmm. Four during wow. his career. <laughs> And seven after he passed. Crazy. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, 75 million, making him the highest selling artist in music. Is he? Uh, really? I didn't know that. More than Eminem. I was was, was about to ask that same question. More than Eminem? Nah, one of the most. Oh, okay. He's Uh up there. Uh Uh He's up there, pal. He's up there. Well, we know this All Eyes on Me album went, um, went diamond. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It went diamond and shit, which is um, a huge accomplishment. Not too many hip hop albums went diamond. Mm-mm, not too uh, many. I know off the top of my head, I know the Outkast album. Mm. Um, the diamond. Love Below? The Love Below. Yeah. yeah. They went diamond. Um, probably probably Jay-Z. Eminem show. Jay Z? Nah. I want to say, Jay-Z I think. Um, Nelly. I think, I think Nelly went diamond. Nelly went diamond. Yeah, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, as far as hip hop is concerned, not too many, man. Um, not... I, I guess Biggie. Did like he? after death. I think. Uh, after, I think after the fact, right? Yeah, after the fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, that's because you know, you get what? How? How? how uh, who was it? Who said it? That pun? I think he said. Um, 
Dead rappers get better. No, Jada Kiss. My bad. Kiss. Jada said Kiss. It. Yeah. Dead rappers get better promotion. Word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit crazy, um, man. Actually, Pac has two albums that went diamond. Went diamond? On yes. Yeah. Okay. What? The greatest hits. Yeah. Oh, the greatest hits during went diamond yeah. too. Oh, that's what's yeah. up. So he's the only artist that has two, two. diamond selling. Dope, 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 dope. No. You know, you mentioned uh, Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. Mm. Of course, Biggie, Life After Death. Yes, D, mm -hmm. it did go diamond. You mm. got Out, Outcast, Speaker mm -hmm. Box. Okay, and another okay. Oakland native, MC Hammer. Yes, that MC Hammer. Hammer. That was a classic album, though. That was I a was, classic album. I was going to say that. I was going to say Hammer. I felt like it was going to go diamond and shit. And um, Linda just mentioned uh, Beastie Boys. Okay. Nah, really? I ain't and, know that uh, either. License to Ill. License to Ill uh, went, went diamond? Damn. Yes. That's why they had so much money. I listened, I listened to their book. They was just chilling, yo, for years, man. That's why they had so much money and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it makes sense. Because they wasn't doing shit for years, man. They was just hanging out and drinking and partying and shit. It makes sense, mm -hmm, man. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I still mm -hmm. love that brass monkey. <laughs> brass monkey. Yo, real quick, y'all. One of the one of the monkey, um monkey. controversies that surrounded that album. I wanted to get uh -huh. y'all take on it. The whole Faith Evans uh Tupac Oof. thing. Now <laughs> What happened was she, now this is her version of it, that they called, well, she was in LA and they asked her to get on the song, um, Wonder Why They Call You Bitch. They asked <laughs> her to, funny, right? They asked her to sing on that song and shit. So according to her, she went to the studio. She sang on the, well, I guess she met him at the club first. Cause that's when they took that picture in the club and then uh, go to the studio, do the track. And now she says, that they were gonna pay her twenty five thousand, and Tupac said, "Well, come to my hotel room to get it." Mm. And he, she said, she went to the hotel room, and then that's when he, you know, tried to get her to perform oral sex on him, and she said no, and then she left. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> now she claims that she didn't even know Tupac was on death row. She had no idea he was on death row. She knew that. <laughs> she knew that Biggie, she knew that they had some problems, but she didn't know how serious it was. Listen, come oh. on now. What, what is <laughs> come on, son. Come on, man. Now, come on. If this is your uh -huh. wife. This is your wife, right? The dude, the shit with 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 two with pocket biggie, that shit was from 1994, the end of 94, when it's when it really first started, right after quad. You talking she all this time she didn't know, like she didn't know what she was doing when she went to the studio with this dude. Well, I mean, look, she grown, right? She can do what the hell she want to do, man. <laughs> she can do what she want to do, man. If that was a way for her to, like, get back at Big for, for what get he did Get back at Big her, for what? Right. For what do you mean, for what? Man? Come on, man. Oh, come on. You already know what she getting back. If allegedly getting back at Big for you ever, heard of was, you ever heard of Charlie Baltimore? Charlie you ever, Baltimore. You ever heard of Little Baltimore, Kim. Little Kim. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, allegedly Biggie. I mean, um, allegedly uh, Wendy Williams. You know, allegedly. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't even hear that one. Who? Biggie? <laughs> yeah, because she was friends. It, it's it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of. We ain't getting that. You know how that, that's, that. That's for another week. Page man. six we Wendy type stuff. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's another week, man. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Rumor mill. You know. And so what do y'all think about the whole thing? Would y'all think she was truthful? Or you think she was full of shit? What do you think, man? Oh, he's um, searching. He's searching for what the What y'all think? What y'all think? I mean, it's hard to say because even... Uh, even after watching some of the videos that, you know, I kind of dug up, um, which kind of had us, you know, thinking that I posted in our chat. Mm -hmm. Um... It was like she was, it was like there were half stories being told, hmm. one on one video, one on another video, one on one interview. And like, it was just like a rabbit hole of different, uh, of different um, videos I was watching. And mm -hmm. they all just had like, sound, they sounded similar, but it was just like one element that was thrown in that wasn't in the other interview. So it's like, you weren't keeping it the same on each interview. Mm. It was something that was a little different. Okay. And I don't know if on one of them, because she was in a club setting, if alcohol played a part of it, mm. um, because that can play a part of it. Um, 
but it just it it got me thinking like i don't know you know hmm. and of course we'll never know you know cuz yeah. uh yeah, well, yeah, well, like, so like, like 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 Linda said faith faith not telling it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you know right. what i'm saying right i mean they in the pub she's in the public eye bro she's in the public eye she's an entertainer you know she don't want to throw salt on that man's legacy you know or even on Tupac's legacy you know what i mean mm-hmm. like she's going to take the high road and she's going to be like nah you know what I mean? Nah, ain't nothing happened. Shit yeah. ain't go down like that. You know, and we gonna we gonna accept it. We're gonna be yeah. like, you know what? It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened, happened. That's between them two. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we 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 just gotta embrace the fact that, you know, those are two great, great MCs that we lost way too early. Mm. You know? But you know. But you know, I wanna, I do wanna say this because I see, you know, you know, like uh, I'm thinking, because like you know, uh, Jamila said, you know, we kind of have do need to have a woman's, you know, take on the situation. It would be nice if we can like have this discussion mm-hmm. for another show, and then have a woman's take on it because. You know, as men, we just seeing it from from our perspective. But then when we see it from a woman's perspective, you know, it has that other element that we can kind of like understand a little bit more. And so I, you know, I, I would definitely like to, you know, bring definitely. this up again on another, you know, show. And we dedicate that to not only just her recollection of the situation, mm-hmm. but also, you know, other situations that's kind of like in the same, you know, boat in, in the hip hop realm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we can kind of like get a woman's perspective on each one of those topics. So definitely. Definitely, man. Uh, yo, D, I can't What's believe good? you actually asked us about that. You had know? to, brother. That's part of it, man. That's definitely part of it. That was a big part. That was a big part. I mean, that pff, hit him up. That's fucking the first line. Uh, <laughs> and it hit him up. <laughs> first off. <laughs> that's the first line. <laughs> Facts. Like, Pac put that shit out there, man. Oh. All right, it's crazy, John. man. <laughs> um, Pac, uh, of course, you know, all eyes on me, what you're celebrating tonight. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time. People forget Pac was an extraordinary actor also. Okay. You know, and he, and he showed his talents on the big screen, of course. I remember he was in one of my favorite hip-hop documentaries, Rhyme and Reason. Uh, and I will also remember that one of his first movies, one of the last movies before he died that came out was um, Gang Related. That was dope. Oh, but, um, yeah. Fucking James, um, James Belushi. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, classic. And of course, you know, he had a, a, a few movies I could mention, of course, some of them. My favorites, of course, Above the Rim, okay. uh, Birdie, and Poetic Justice classic. with Janet. Classic, classic. And then, of course, one of my favorite movies of all time, along with all the rest of us, Juice. Juice. Of course. Come on, man. Bishop. Favorite movie ever, man. <laughs> so, uh, I, can, I can understand Bishop's character now. <laughs> oh, God. Here you go, man. Put that shit away, man. <laughs> you ain't on the range, man. Because <laughs> I already got it, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit away, man. <laughs> oh man. I know, I know, I know. Oh man. Mm-hmm. I D. But uh uh Tupac was all over the movie scene, um, you know, from, from 95 to 97, of course. Mm-hmm. And when he first started, Juice Juice came out in 92. Uh and Poetic Justice, I believe, 93, 93. right after that. Um, so right in between that was a movie that came out that I also want to celebrate. Okay. The 25-year oh. anniversary. 26? Segway 26. King. 26. That, you see, it's, it, it's in there. <laughs> Black cinema, of course, was very important to us because, like they say now, you know, there can only be one or two successful people at a time. Back then, Tupac was the biggest and, you know, it's so funny how nowadays you probably have a couple of rappers like Method Man or you might have, uh, you know, Dre uh, from Outkast have a couple of these rap movies that you see. But mm-hmm. none of them have great ones. But, you know, one main one will only be one at a time, basically. You know, I don't know 
any other rapper right now that will have that dis that that distinction. But Tupac though, he did. Uh, but there was one movie came out in what what year? D ninety five. Right in the middle of everything. Mm -hmm. uh. That was so powerful and strong, and it came out this month. In 1995, which mm. will make it his 26th year anniversary, I'm talking about the movie Higher Learning. Classic. Yes, classic, oh. classic. D, you That's said it. you went to the movies I saw to go shit. see. It's the first time I think I first time I went to the movies. I think me and my friend went first time as a teenager. I went to the movies without like a parent or nothing. It was like 16, yeah. 16 years old. Yep, first time I went to the movies and shit, man. Um, the cast, of course. You know, Michael Rappaport, you had uh, Kristen uh, Swanson, mm -hmm. and um, that's enough for the white people. Then you have Omar <laughs> Epps. <laughs> Omar <laughs> Epps, right? Um, incredible role he played. Awesome. Of course, this happened awesome. in 95, three years removed from Juice. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, right after that, I think he did In Too Deep. Omar was big back Omar then. Omar was big. Omar oh, yeah. Was big. He's doing his thing. Uh, Ice Cube. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. um, his character, uh, though it would be portrayed as angry, I thought it was, I thought it was an excellent fit to show his dynamic, mm -hmm. his strength, his resilience, and his actually, you know, I think he could have wilded it out more than, of course. except of course. everybody go back and see the movie to the plot of what happens when, um, when Rennie, you know, Goes yeah. with the Nazis or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, remember, the beautiful Tyra Banks was in the movie. Yep. Excellent role for yes. her also. And I don't mean Love and Basketball when she was Omar Epps' girlfriend after Sunai Lathan. All right, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> you had Larry. Larry Fish was in there. Mm -hmm. Prof yep. Professor mm -hmm. and shit. All right, yep. I want Lou Hall to say it's Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course, my favorite character. Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes was dope. Yeah. Buster Bus. Buster Rhymes was dope. It was so interesting when we talked about All Eyes on Me. I was about to make a joke and I didn't make it. And I'm just going to go back. D, give me 15 seconds. No doubt. I was going to say talking about All Eyes on Me was like talking about Illmatic. Life after death. <laughs> paid in full. <laughs> Extinction level event two. But mm. that's what, okay. <laughs> We're not talking about that shit. We're not talking about that shit now. You missed Sorry, your turn. Extinction Sorry, level bro. Event. You missed that was two. the first week. Sorry, man. Exactly. It's over. It's, oh, no. That's a wrap. About to mute, to mute his mic. It's that over, man. That shit was a classic Continue. Album, continue yo. recess. Like I'm searching for the mute point. button. <laughs> that, that shit was on point, bro. Continue recess. <laughs> <laughs> extraordinary cast extraordinary movie plot mm. of course that happens on a college campus mm -hmm. which was i swear it had to be more than three quarters of the experience mm. of a black student because remember this was put not on the hbcu but on a columbus university mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where they had a better bigger white population than mm -hmm. the blacks right. and minorities or anybody else um, extraordinary movie. Please, ladies and gentlemen, go back and check out Higher Learner with my boy Buster Rhymes. <laughs> Big shout out to John Dude Singleton, D. too. R.I.P. to John Singleton. Absolutely. Thank you, D. Yeah, man. Shout and the out soundtrack to was good, too. Vashon put it up. I think um, also when he put R.I.P. John Singleton, Okay. I think we were also talking about, I think that, you know, Higher Learning by far one of the best movies that came out of that era. Because remember, right. back in the 90s, D, we had balance. We of didn't course. just have the gangster shit. No, no. We had balance, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For example, like on air with Prez, I'm segue to that. I have to put a shameless plug to Prez, but mm -hmm. Nagus said that one of his favorite hip hop groups was X-Clan. Mm -hmm. A lot of people's favorite mm -hmm. groups was Jungle Brothers, Word. Native Tongues, yep. De La. Yeah. Yep. Tribe like us coming mm -hmm. straight out of Queens because we were privileged, of course. Well, of course, Queens is the fucking best borough and shit. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. What happened? Hold on. You said Queens you, is the best you, borough. I thought you was. I thought you you was with Brooklyn. I, I was born there. 
but everybody knows what my loyalty stays. Oh, <laughs> oh friends, you, you ain't, <laughs> you ain't got time. no friends no more. The only time oh, I catch the Q24 <laughs> on Atlantic Avenue from Queens to Brooklyn is to go see the Nets. Don't get it twisted. Wow, and I and I and I rep Queens because you know my pops is from Queens. I was there. <laughs> I visit there all the time. Yo, I'm a plain wow. Queens now. <laughs> now. I'm now, a, I'm a, now, okay. now, Jermaine in the chat is saying Bronx is the home of hip hop. You know, shout out to the Bronx. The Bronx Absolutely. definitely that's the that's the birthplace. Yeah. That's the prerequisite. That's the birthplace. Yeah. Nah, but, man, that's where you go to. But Queens, nah, bro. Come on, the Bronx, man. The Bronx, we gonna do this shit again, man. Come on, the, come the on, craziest, man. The craziest people come from the Bronx and Florida. <laughs> the Bronx and Florida. That's a that's a is that a fact? Is that That's a fact, fact and shit? Yeah, oh, that is a fact. A long time ago. Nobody asked you, Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, as you better say, "That's why I'm about to fight." <laughs> a crazy Bronx ass, man. You, but... you better do like the Bronx native Fat Joe and lean back. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah, know how we segue into this shit, yeah. <laughs> you you talking about balance, Risa? You talking about balance? And shit, we were talking man. about balance, and that's yeah. exactly what it is. I'm a knucklehead. Uh, I graduated out of Queensboro Community College with, mm -hmm. along with my boy D. Yes, so indeed. you know what it is. Um, I'm lying. I didn't graduate. I, know, I see. I was gonna uh, say you didn't graduate. I was being nice. You ain't graduated. <laughs> <laughs> we have the culture of St. John's University. A couple of shows ago, I talked about when we went to the after-school program for Troubled Youths. I used mm -hmm. to stay on the weekends and saw the Super Bowl in 1991. <laughs> Shout out to St. John's University. Shout out to York University, Southside okay. Jamaica, Queens, in the building. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I, I understand the college experience and mm. higher learning is definitely right up that alley. You don't see right. that story told a lot, That's a great but it's story, definitely man. the majority of college students' experiences. Yeah. Higher yep. learning, John Singleton. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And my boy, Buster Rocks. Yo, that one, I'm just talking about just one, true, true one scene. I just remember that one. Uh, I mean, I, I can't say spoiler, but some shit is 26 years old. Everybody should have seen the movie by now. But the scene with him, the yo, scene, get <laughs> spoiler alert and shit. Now fuck that. The scene with um, I just remember just being like I said. This is this was what we said ninety five. This came out ninety yes, ninety five. So yeah, so I was sixteen, and just the emotion of when Remy shot Tyra. Yeah, I mm. remember that shit. Like, and then you saw all my apps running down the stairs. Like, ooh, like we like the whole movie theater just. <gasps> We all felt that shit, man. It was mm. it was a it was a deep moment, yo. I, listen, man. Luckily, I was in mm. I was in Green Acres Mall. It was you know all, all black people in the movie theater. Cause I don't know. I'm, I'm not even joking, right. yo. Like that shit might have went might not have went good, man. It was it was, was dangerous in 1995 yeah. in Green Acres Mall. It might not have, it, yeah, but we was all good. If somebody else would have been in that movie theater at that time, I'm just telling you the atmosphere. It was crazy, yo. Everybody was tight, man. So. And you know, yeah, pulled out emotion out. He definitely pulled out emotion out of us. I wish I was old enough mm. to been able to, you know, go to the movie, see, experience that. Mm. But you know, being that it was rated R, I think you said you were sixteen. I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that would have made me twelve. Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pops and moms wouldn't having that. Letting yeah, me go to the see a rated R movie in the movie. I always theater. look older and shit. I always had a mustache in the bed, so they didn't even, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even call me. Yeah. <laughs> you and Prez running neck and neck. Yeah, I had that shit from fourteen years old. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Linda Green Acres Mall. Yes, shout out to Green Acres Mall with the metal detectors and shit. <laughs> yes, thank you, D. Yo, Prez. metal detectors to go watch a fucking movie, man. Come thank on, you, man. D. You know, you know, this shit ain't there no more. Though. I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Of course. We saw it a couple it's years ago. It's the Costco's ago. now. Uh, it's a whole lot of shit going on. A whole lot on of shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sounds like gentrification to me. It's Yo, Prez, on some I mean, belligerent Brooklyn shit. You know, son. When they started putting in metal detectors in King's Plaza. <laughs> mm. What are you talking about? I'm saying Green Acres Mall was serious. I don't think people really even understand. It was a risk going to the movies. Yo, but wasn't yeah. it? Didn't some shit happen there? Didn't somebody get shot doing like Boys in the Hood or something? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So that's what Absolutely. Yeah. What Chris Rock yeah. say? Can't open a new movie theater. Niggas busting <laughs> shots at the screen. But we just got wow. used to it. It's a sad thing. We just got used to the shit. Like it was just a, we just knew we go there. We got to go to the metal tank, take all the shit out of our pocket. We just got used what? to it. What? Yeah. 
Huh? We ain't never had no metal detectors yeah. at the movies here. Mm -hmm. And it was, yo, and that's crazy. At the movie theaters here, there was mad fights every single time. But we ain't <laughs> never had no metal detectors. Man, y'all need us a metal detector. Yeah, wasn't shit, bringing man. that. That wasn't bringing hammers. That was just fighting. That was just yeah, fighting. that's true. Throwing the kids, fists. kids didn't start bringing hammers until after I graduated. Yeah, because y'all all a little, you know, y'all y'all a little slow back down there. You know that shit. Yo, you know y'all little Koch behind did not time. stop uh, the uh, gun. Uh, watch, uh, watch it, nigga. Because now it. you <laughs> in the south. I say now. <laughs> I said back then, y'all was a little behind the time. <laughs> Yo, listen, Koch couldn't stop the guns in the mm, theaters. Mm, Dinkins mm. couldn't stop the guns in the theaters. Giuliani couldn't stop the guns in the theaters. Mm. When Bloomberg came in, I ain't gonna lie, they opened up Linden there across the street from Pink Houses. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And they didn't put metal detectors in no, there. Like, they, they didn't want the niggas to kill each other. <laughs> what, but Yo! you know what, sis, you mentioned Giuliani. Giuliani can't even control Trump. So mm. why do you think that he would be able to control? <laughs> that shit literally course, is across the street from fucking pink houses, right? That shit Thank literally you. is right across the street from pink houses. <laughs> East New York, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Don't get no realer. I was about to shout out these spots. Chill, press. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because I was saying that Ju you said Giuliani mm. couldn't hold down. Remember, for those who don't know, our uh, former mayor, Rudolph Giuliani, who was the mayor during the 9-11 attacks. Everybody called him America's mayor after that. That's his okay. big claim to fame. Mm. For anybody older than 60 will probably remember when he took down the mob. He was the attorney general for the U.S. that took down the mafia, John Gotti. He was the guy. So that's mm. where he gets okay. his from. And the Fulton okay. Fish Market, yo. Why did he have to go fuck with the Fulton Fish Market? What'd he do over there? He shut that shit down. Shut that, that shit, shit down. That shit was mob ran too. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you was ran to out of my And and I get um, it now because um Linda just said that's the old Giuliani. So okay, I yeah. get it now. I get it. Yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. Been a, he, he always been a piece of shit though, man. Come on. Yeah, man. he's always been, <laughs> yeah, he's always been <laughs> a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it, but I was wanting for people because of course Lou Hall, you would say Trump, because that's how most people know him. They don't know that from New York, he has a history here. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all. Yeah. That's right. all. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's crazy, man. I, I got know. three charges on the Julia. I bet you did, man. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Statue of limitations? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. Make sure before we put that out there. <laughs> yeah, that shit out, now. That Remember, shit Bloomberg was the one that came in. I believe it was 04. And um, he's the one actually responsible for turning Times Square mm. into Pornhub Central into Disney World. Mm. All right, mm. let's get it. Let's get that real, right, Prez? Okay. Yes, indeed. Yes, Prez indeed. know about that. Prez know about that. Prez know about that. Yes, about that. indeed. Yo. There you go. That's I seen. Him. I seen him at Albee Square Mall looking at me. <laughs> what the days, man? What? Those, those what? Good old days, brother. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. man. Whole lot of shit, man. I don't know my brothers. Anything? Anything else been popping off? Last week of shit, man. Uh, Nah, it's been a slow week. It's been, it's been a slow ass week, yo. Really? You don't think so? Nah, man. What you talking about? I'm just saying. It feels like it's a balance in life. Sometimes you're gonna have crazy shit happen, but still, look at the pepper that we. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I didn't mean salt and pepper. I meant pepper, as in. Because we could talk about a few things. There was a lot of jokes, a lot of hot takes. I didn't want to get it. We didn't want to get into the Wendy Williams bullshit. Nah. We didn't want to get into the salt and pepper, really, right? I mean, We're I will, you know what? Too. I actually will I will watch both of the movies um eventually within the next couple of weeks. I'll check both of them out, just you know, just to have yeah, both sides. And, of the story and then and there was another situation with your boy T.I., the, the gun, the gun kingpin. I you know what? Mean to say you know that, what? Man. Lies, you lies. So and you know what? To that one at all. And you know what? I'm well, they said Shorty to... took a metal a lie detector test and she and she was no deception found. Mm. But there's ways so, to pass that lie detector test. You hey, you hey, Lou Hall, allegedly, yes. I'm just yeah. saying you said it was a slow week. I don't believe so. There was a lot, but a lot we just don't give our well, takes. A lot of rumors you know? and shit. Yeah, yeah, a lot of rumors. Yeah, because shit you know that basically. To be honest, if that T.I. situation was big as it was made out to be, it would have been on all the major networks. Because you already know anytime that uh, something involves a rapper that happens, any type of controversy, 
all the news stations. It's on CNN. Um, and I ain't seen, I ain't seen that on none of them. Yo, of them. The, the biggest one that y'all never talked about also was the Reddit controversy, GameStop, AMC. Y'all oh, never spoke about that yeah. either. So there's a lot of things, you know, yeah. to shout out to um, Jamila once again. She hit me with the stimulus. Slow with the stimulus. A lot of oh, record yeah, labels yeah. on hold being being created because the stimulus. <laughs> <laughs> the record yeah. labels on hold, yeah. <laughs> Yo, how- <laughs> record labels on hold and shit. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of AT and T bills are not being paid bad. because the stimulus is slow. <laughs> but no, the the week has been busy. Just a lot of stuff that you know we like to celebrate here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I we mean, we do. As far as that whole game stuff, I mean, we talked we we talked about stocks and investing and shit like the last couple of weeks, and it was just a whole bunch of drama, a whole bunch of bullshit. Honestly, with Robin Hood and all that, man. I don't, I don't know how much longer they're gonna be around and shit. So mm-hmm. yeah, because they getting sued. But the, yeah, with that, with that bullshit they pulled. So. Absolutely. That's for another day. When they get shut down. <laughs> I know they was trying to IPO and then they, they pretty much put that shit on hold. So Yep. Mm-hmm. And then they trying to, from my understanding, it's Robin Hood getting sued mm-hmm. and then Robin Hood is trying to sue the FCC, if, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. Robin Hood is suing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's seven it, lawsuits going on. There's also one uh, connected to, I don't want to say it, Fidelity. Uh, there's also a TD, connection with uh, TD Rebel. Bank. Oh, there's a TD. There you go. There's and a few. Of, I Bank. mean, but there you go. There's a, a lot oh, of this stuff. Listen, if a whole bunch of shit. If you wanna, yo, if the people want us to discuss what's going on, yo, I'll, yo, you know, Prez got the the tips. I got the hot takes. <laughs> uh, and, and, and D and LJ will definitely offer stability. No doubt. There we go. <laughs> my, my, my my stock tip is if you're still holding GameStop, you need to sell it immediately. It's, it's too late. You should have been so. That shit is like fucking uh, fucking eighty seven dollars today, man. Yeah, it's down Matter to like fact, ninety dollars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you definitely this, need to sell. I think it was know, seventeen hours ago. Yeah, you played and, yourself if you're still holding yeah, on to yeah, GameStop. Yeah. And you I know, got try to try to redeem yourself now. You can still be up. <laughs> You know what I mean? If you sell you it can't today, still, you'll be. still be. Up. Well, it depends on when you bought it. Some people bought this shit at five hundred dollars, yo. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was Shout out to the young man who made three G's. Yeah. Oh it yeah. Was like seventy. It was like seventy before the shit took off. So you could get a little twenty dollars off of that. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up when uh, AMC took off. I ended up. I said, you know what? I'm gonna put put a little fifty dollars mm-hmm. in here. See what it do. Um, and uh, it started losing. So this morning I sold it because I was Damn, like, you just now that's just eight dollars. You just now sold that shit. Well, this morning before um when the market opened. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You yeah, ever heard I, of a pump and seen... dump? You know what a pump <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yo, that's something I used to do off the J train in the nineties. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Lou Ho, you can you gotta you gotta holler at us, man. Before you before you because you be buying no. Dogecoin and all kind of stupid shit. No, you I holler buy, at us. No, no, I didn't buy that just because I read it first. Shit. I read it. I thought you oh, said you. I thought you on, said guys. you bought Dogecoin. Okay. No, no, no. I said, have y'all thought about? Oh, Dogecoin? okay. Oh. He's like, hell no. He's like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Man. Buy, <laughs> and then, here's the thing: you can buy all of this shit. But the, <laughs> the key is knowing when to sell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to hold on to these type of fucking stocks, yo, and these type of cryptocurrency, mm-hmm. man. You got to do the right. research and figure out when mm-hmm. you got to sell it. Make your little money off of it and then get the fuck bounce. Out. Get the fuck out. Unless, unless you got a long-term thing. Unless you got a long-term. Yeah. Which, none, of, none of these shit that we talking about is long-term. A stable company. Yeah, unless you got a stable Ooh. company. Like, like I said a couple of... Tesla or something. Like I said a couple of episodes Amazon. ago, if you mm-hmm. invo- uh, investing in... Uh, Bitcoin is not for retirement. <laughs> Do not think that you're going to invest all your money for retirement Lou in Ho, Bitcoin. You bought the shit, and then the next day you actually should I, should I sell it? Oh, you bought the shit yesterday, <laughs> yes. man. Like, just be easy. Yo. <laughs> but I'm not going to listen, but I'm not going to use it for retirement. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all good, though, man. <laughs> That's what's up, D. That's what's up. Oh, man, my brothers, man. I think we think we covered a we covered a good amount of stuff, man. Yes, yes sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. absolutely. Without a doubt. Big shout out to the chat room. We got we got Jamelia in there. She was commenting all the, all the time, yelling at my ear in the next room and shit as well. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> big shout out to her each week and shit holding down the chat. Big Brian. Big shout out to my man Brian. 
uh, Keyshawn and Linda. Linda, very active Linda in the always, chat as well. Yes, man. Always, always coming uh, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute, salute, yo. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely appreciate it, man. Like we said, we got the chat room open. We live every Tuesday night. Um, you can check us out at Beats Pods and Life on Instagram. Checking the um, checking the profile. We got the links up there. You can come join us. Hop in the chat. Eventually, we're gonna open the floors up. Eventually, man. We we we're gonna we, once we get all this settled down, we open the floors. I have people hop in. You know. To the conversation and shit, man. Absolutely. Big up to everybody in the chat, but also a real big shout out to everybody that just dipped in for a second, listened for a few yes. minutes, and of course, life gotta go somewhere. We shouting out everybody in the chat, but big shout out to everybody that just dips in for a few mm -hmm. minutes, checks us out, because we know life, you know of what I'm course, saying? Of course, of course. Bijanay, we saw Bijanay, I mm -hmm. saw Absolutely. Key. Yeah, um, you appreciate you, appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah, without a doubt, man. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But this podcast, man, um, we're available everywhere. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Castbox, um, YouTube. We got the we got the live video, the videos on YouTube as well each week. Uh, everywhere, man. Everywhere. We just, everywhere. We doing it big, man. We just trying to. We trying to trying to grow, man. But you can check <laughs> right, us out, baby. Yeah, man. Social media. That's at Beats Pods and Life. That's on Instagram. The email is Beats Pods and Life at gmail.com. You can hit me up personally. That's at Dame Ben Dope. That's on Instagram only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, thank you for checking us out, man. Appreciate the love. You can check me out at Rep1804. That's R E P 1804. Holla at your boy. Yo, as always, it's your boy, Lou Hall. You can definitely catch me on Facebook. Um, that's going to be Lou Hall or Lewis Hall on Facebook. Um, make sure y'all send me a message uh, because there's a lot of fake profiles going around. So I want to know that, you know, you, you, you in it because you heard us here and want to follow us on the Belligerent State of Mind podcast. Um, Nigga got also, hacked. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I'm saying there's a lot of fake profiles going around. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but then you can also catch me on Instagram and as well as with Snapchat. That's gonna be Lou Hall is I Z back B A C K. Lou Hall is I Z back B A C K. Also, you can definitely hit me by email. Um, I definitely host shows. Um, if you want me to be a guest on your own podcast, I'll definitely do that. Um, I can, you know, make beats. I can rhyme. Um, I can cook. I can clean. I can fry in your fricassee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yo, know, you can hit me on my email with that. That's going to be LouHall803 at Yahoo.com. LouHall803 at Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> at yahoo.com <laughs> no doubt and it's your boy recess on twitter my handle is south side recess is all one word i'm sorry <laughs> Whoa. I'm, i apologize yo <laughs> the chat got me laughing <laughs> yo when i said wow it sounded like a joke <laughs> <laughs> it was that golden crust and that boy said with the pack <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> stupid and oh I'll be on IG at G-E-T-D-A-F-U-C-O-U-T-H-E-R-E. -E. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of here after that one, yeah. Oh, man. Woo. Oh, 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 we all took it from all angles and shit oh, on that one, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everybody hit him up. They tag team. Triple team his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just Boy, take it ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Hilarious, man. Yo, oh. we love it, man. We appreciate everybody, man, checking us yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Peace, Pies, and Life Network, Belligerent State of Mind, man. We out, man. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>